Hey guys, VFX Bro here. We're going to be running over some brief tutorials on the effects scene in the YouTube Next Step video by Final Cut King. A lot of the effects you saw have been done before and uh, we kind of just made a few tweaks here and there. This shot though I um, is one that I haven't seen on YouTube quite yet. Um, I kind of got the inspiration from a music video by 30 Seconds to Mars where they basically just shot a real gun um, with a super slow motion camera and uh, this is what they got here. And so what we kind of sought to do is kind of emulate that um, using visual effects. So this right here we have is the shot from the YouTube Next Up video. And you can see we've got the shells flying out of the gun at super slow motion. The um, original shot of, of Zach pretending to fire bullets. So you can see this is him just f f pretending to shoot a gun um, regular time. And uh, we slowed that down using Twixter. So we slowed it down to um, about 10% of the time of the uh, original speed. Um, there's a tutorial on Twixter um, on my channel. I'm going to be going over it a little bit again here. Um, but basically, we just slowed that down. And then the next part involved adding in the shells flying out. So the way we went, went about doing that was um, we just had Zach fling up the shells on set so that we had the same lighting um, as well as positioning, uh, lens distortion, and everything. So uh, we're going to take the shot right here um, where Zach's flinging up the bullet and we're going to go ahead and show how we went about slowing that down. Um, so we're going to take that to the beginning here, the shot right here where Zach is slowing down the footage, or sorry, where Zach is flinging up the um, shell and uh, we're gonna slow that down so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first go to our first frame and we are going to go time time stretch and we're gonna use the current frame and make it 250 times we shot at 60 frames per second so we shot on 70 um, 60 frames per second and um, we're gonna be trying to make it about 2,000 frames per second so that's slowed down now. We're gonna help go ahead and grab that composition, make it a new composition. Now we're gonna go composition settings and we're gonna change it to 23.976. There we go. And uh, so that now that has been slowed down there and uh, we'll play that back in real time so you can kind of, can get, can kind of get a feel of for how slow it is. Very nice. Um, now what we're going to do is add a Twixter um, slow-mo effect. So go ahead and Command Y, add a new um, solid there, and we're going to type in our Twixter, apply that, and we're going to go and select this layer right here, change our input frame rate to 23.976, and um, we got to change the speed as well. So go to our speed, make it 20%. And then let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, let's go ahead and play that back. You can see we have a lot of distortion going on. It looks terrible. Um, so what we're going to do is actually remove any distortion at all. And the way we're going to go about doing this is by um, applying a mask to our shell and just kind of emulating the physics that we see um, here. So what we're going to do is... Um, copy this uh, composition here. So hit, just select it and hit Command D. That will duplicate it. We're going to bring it on top, and we're going to go to the a frame here of it up in the air, um, and we're going to go ahead and apply a mask to the shell. So it didn't have to be perfect actually, because we we can just key out the brightness. Um, just apply a nice mask around it like that. Um, so you can see there we have a nice mask and then what we're going to do is hit time and we're going to go freeze frame so now we just have this single shot right here of the shell um, and then what we're going to do also is we're going to hit Y and we're going to take this center um, anchor tool and put it in the middle of the bullet so now we have that there and what we're going to do is we're going to take that layer off and we're going to 
go back to this right here. Okay, sorry. And we're gonna what we're gonna do here is make sure this is on our first layer down at the bottom. So we're gonna call this the Twixter shot, and we're just gonna call this the uh, bullet. So now we have the uh, bullet and the Twixter shot underneath. And uh, what we're gonna do now is just we're gonna just go through and keyframe our bullet to match the physics of the one that Zach threw up. So let's go to the first shot right here where it leaves his hand. And uh, we're gonna take this bullet right here, and we're gonna hit R for rotation. Uh, we're gonna keyframe the rotation and the position, and then P for position. And so we're gonna take the, grab this, hit V to move it, and we're gonna move it right on top of there. And then go ahead and hit the W button, and we're gonna just turn it around to match. Um, to kind of get a better feel of, of if you're doing it correctly, you're gonna hit it hit the bullet layer and hit T for opacity and then bring down the opacity to about 50% so you can see how accurate um, you are. So, And then we're gonna hit R again, rotate it to match exactly. So now with that keyframe selected, we're gonna move forward, hit command and then your arrow forward. We're gonna move forward about five frames, six. Let's go ahead and move around six frames to the next spot. And then now we're gonna hit W again and just animate it right there so that um, it matches it. We can see that our scale is off a little bit too. The, the bullet seems to be a little bit smaller here. So what we're gonna do is hit scale. We're gonna keyframe that, move our first keyframe back to original position, and then make this one a little bit smaller. This is probably about 98. Looks good right about there. And uh, what you're gonna do pretty much is just go through every frame and uh, make sure, and then line it up. And we're gonna use those physics um, to make it look as though the bullet is actually there. And then we're gonna just add that into our original shot here um, of Zach pretending to fire, and that is the effect. Um, when it's all said and done, it will look like this. Um, and then the muzzle flare and everything um, can be seen, tutorials on that can be seen on videocopilot.net. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, this has been VFX Bro with a tutorial in the super slow motion shell 